This is the first part of the project, putting the padding together. These are three strips, 12 mil thick, and 32 foot long, long for the lower bundles, which will be installed next. This is one of the lower assemblies. We're getting ready to start putting the padding on. So as you can see, each and every sharp corner has to be padded. Padding's now been completed and we're getting ready to put on the transition piece of plastic in order to make the main body of plastic meet back up. The transition piece has now been added. Again, this will allow the plastic to come all the way over the unit and team up on the, on the transition strip. The next step will be to lift the unit, pull the plastic under it, and start to continue to wrap up and over. At this stage, the unit's been lifted, the plastic's been set or pulled underneath the unit, measured, marked, and put into place, and then pulled tight from the opposite side, and the unit set down. The next step will be to pull the plastic over the top of the unit and start to seal it back up. Plastic's been draped over the unit now, and the unit's been completely sealed back together, both the center seal and both of the ends. So the next step will be actually to shrink it down with the propane torch. The top of the unit has been shrunk now. The sides will be the next step in the shrinking process. Top of the unit has already been shrunk, heated, to get on the side. The bundle's been 100% shrunk now, but we still have a couple hours work to do to fine tune the wrap, to reinforce the seams, and also to uh, tape up the lifting lugs. You can see the lifting lugs, uh, because of the perforation in the plastic, now they have to be taped up to uh, re-secure them so no wind can get inside. There's one of the lugs now, completely taped up and prepared. Everything is sealed around it. This unit's now complete. All the seams have been taped. All the lugs have been taped. It's been heated. It's been inspected. It's now ready for lettering. And out the door it goes.